Welcome back to Ansible's, everyone. Happy Saturday. I hope you guys do have a great weekend. I'm going to go over an update with you guys on AMC. AMC has been coming down throughout the week. I'm going to go over exactly what has to happen for AMC to turn back around, continue on up, and possibly have that major breakout. I'm going to go over exactly which indicators I would be looking for to have that confirmation. And all I ask for in return is you guys smash that like button and hit subscribe if you want to see more chart updates on potential breakouts that we mentioned throughout the week. So let's jump into this one. So I'm going to go to the four hour chart with you guys here on AMC. I'm going to show you guys exactly what has to happen for us to continue. But before we get started, I want to mention that we do alert breakout alerts throughout the day. We mentioned DAS this week, looking to see if we can break over that 913 mark. Where we previously did have a rejection, then break over that $10 mark as a psychological resistance. Broke above it up to $12, had a nice breakout throughout the week. And also we did mention CEI on our weekly watch list from 50 cents. Looking to see if we can break over that $1 mark, broke above it. After testing a couple of times, broke above it, went up to $220 yesterday. Looking to see if we can get to it. I'm going to go over that video tomorrow and I also went over that video yesterday. And also I know a lot of eyes are on MRIN with the recent Google news. We had a major breakout on that news in pre-market on Tuesday. From $7.50 up to $10.50. Now had another major breakout on Friday. Looking to see if we can continue with that momentum. So if you guys do want to see all of our breakout alerts stuff today, go to instables.com in the description below. And you guys will never miss a breakout alert stuff today again. So back over to AMC here. As you guys can see on the 4-hour chart, we had our bull flag and we did drop below it. We did have that continuation on down since then. We originally had that major breakout because we bounced off the 200 moving average with the 200 moving average above the 50 on that major spike. Curled up and had that major spike. As you guys can see, we do have the 200 moving average that recently did curl down below below the 50 after we did drop below that bull flag we came back down and then we were looking for the 20 moving average to cross back above the 50 and we did mention this on this breakout and as you guys can see we have been bouncing off the 20 moving average mentioning every one of these bounces now looking to see if we can hold this range between 48 58 dollars to possibly test this 58 major breakout point that we're looking for and as you guys can see we did recently sell off as you guys can see the 20 moving average is curling down and dropping below the 50 moving average looking to see if we can curl up and cross back above the 50 moving average in my opinion with amc to get better momentum we do need this 20 moving average to cross back above the 50. Again, as you guys can see, we had that major sell off recently. And as you guys can see, we are coming back down testing this $40 range that we originally had our large reaction to the upside from looking to see if we can hold over $40. If we cannot respect this $40 support, then we could continue to come back down and possibly test these ranges that we did have previously from our major breakout and also which gave us our bounce that we had recently here around $30. Again, as you guys can see, we had this major breakout and continuation on up at about $30 and confirmation. And as you guys can see, we did have that bounce here with the total moving average crossing above the 50 jumped into this range, but did not have the buy pressure we were looking for. As you guys can see, we had some buy pressure at that point, looking to see if we can get an increase in buy pressure. Sure enough, showing us that we did have that decrease in buy pressure, looking to see if we can continue on with momentum, but again, showing us that we were decreasing in momentum, having that large sell pressure coming in. Again, now the EMA lines below the MACD, showing us that we may continue on down. We need these EMA lines to cross back above the MACD. I do like how we do have that decrease in sell pressure, looking to see if we can get an increase in buy pressure. Again, breaking above our previous buy pressure point that we have here to get confirmation on that. So again, to set the alert here on trading, you come over to the plus sign here, you click add alert, and you can put that alert right above your previous buy pressure point. So that way, if it does break above it, then we will be confirmed on momentum at that point in time to have another breakout. But again, AMC, Looking to see if we can cross the 20 moving average back above the 50 here and also support this $40 range as a possible breakout. So as you guys can see, we have been coming back down, looking to see if we can hold this $40 range as a support. If we can hold it as a support, then in my opinion, we will get that increase in buy pressure. If we do not get that increase in buy pressure coming to this week, then in my opinion, we are not going to hold this $40 range in my opinion. Again, just looking for some buy pressure going to this week. We have that decrease in sell pressure, looking to see if we can increase in buy pressure. Again, breaking above our previous buy pressure point is what we want to happen to hold into this 48 $58 range and then to have that major breakout and possible squeeze that a lot of people have been talking about is to break above our previous momentum that we did have as you guys can see we had a large spike at this point in time in my opinion if we do have a squeeze then we will be breaking above this point here and again if AMC for example were to sell off all the way down to three dollars which of course we don't want to happen but if they were to then we do have these alerts still set here on the MACD so that way if we ever do get momentum even at those prices then we will be confirmed on more momentum here on AMC so again I really like these MACD alerts very important and very key to use in my opinion again this is not financial advice this is only what i'd be doing but again to hold this 40 dollars support and respect it going to this week if we can and get this 20 moving average to cross back up and get some buy pressure then we are looking a little more stronger than we were this last week and looking to see if we can break above our previous buy pressure point to get that confirmation above this 48 50 range that we were looking for originally to have more momentum breaking into the 58 and possibly breaking above our major resistance that we have here at 58 again 58 our strong support that we could not hold here and had that continuation on down from then so again 58 and breaking above it 
with buy pressure is extremely key for us here on AMC. Again, AMC has been on the watch and will continue to be on the watch. And if we do drop below our previous support that we have here at $30 and our original breakout point, then in my opinion, we are looking pretty bearish at that point in time. So AMC definitely on the watch to hold this support at $40. And what I really do like about AMC is they have been holding up stronger than most stocks have been. Most stocks have been completely selling off and AMC has been holding up recently with the 20 moving average above the 50, in my opinion, showing us a lot of bullish momentum. But again, we do need to hold this $40 support. If we cannot hold $40 as support, we are gonna be coming down and testing that $30 range. If we drop below $30, then at that point in time, I may stop making videos, but again, I don't exactly expect that to happen necessarily. We'll see what happens. We do need the 200 million average to cross back above the 50 going into this week to have momentum. Again, if you guys do want to see all of our breakout alerts of the day, go to instabulls.com in the description below, and you guys will never miss a breakout alert of the day again. And everybody that hasn't been supporting the channel, all of you instables, hope you guys all have a great week. And really, I hope you guys really do. God bless you guys. And if you guys do like this video, it does help us refine it and it does help the channel grow. And I do appreciate it very much. And again, God bless all of you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.